Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, and today I am very excited to share with you the brand new Trello home screen. Now just before I get into all of the features of this brand new area of Trello, I want to go back to the default home screen or the default board screen within Trello. You're probably familiar with this look, that when you select the Trello logo at the top of your screen, you go back to a page something like this. You have your starred boards at the top of the screen, you have all of your personal boards down below, and then your team boards down below that. Now, this has been the default when you go to the Trello home screen, for many, many years. Now, you can get quick access to each of these boards, but one of the complaints is that it's been very difficult to get a high-level view of all of the cards and all of the projects that you're involved with. Things like notifications and conversations and things that are coming up. Well, Trello has given us the home screen, and I think you're going to be spending an awful lot of time here because they've given us a lot of goodies to play with, a lot of ways that we can stay on top of our work. So let me give you a tour. All of the action really happens here in the middle part of the screen. On the right-hand side, we still have our starred boards, we still have our recently viewed boards, and we can quickly and easily create a new board. But it's this single column in the middle screen which is where you are going to want to put your attention. So first up, we have an up next section. And this up next section is going to include a number of different things. It could include cards that have an upcoming due date or perhaps a due date which has recently passed. Obviously, that's pieces of information that you want to stay on top of. It is also going to include cards where you have been mentioned recently in a conversation. Again, something you want to keep your eye out for. And lastly, it's also going to include include cards where you have been added to recently, yet you have not had any activity on that card. Think of how many times someone else on your team may have assigned you something and you weren't even aware of it. You weren't even aware that you were assigned to that particular card. Well, you'll be notified of that here in this up next section. So this first card in the up next area is a good example of that. Here, I was added to this card about an hour ago. So I'm being notified of it. And there's an, a couple of other really nice features that they've included here. One is I can reply to this card directly from this screen. I don't have to click on the card. I don't have to go anywhere else. I can say, hey, I've got this, or I'll, I'll give you an update later on in the week, whatever the case may be. I also have the opportunity to dismiss this card. So if I've already, if I've already been known that I was assigned to this card, or I don't want to be notified of this again, I can select the dismiss button. Now you'll notice there's actually another card that comes up. Here's another card which I've been added to recently. So I can either go through these one by one, one, or I can select the show more link, and this will add additional cards down below. So I've got a few other examples, things that I've been added to recently. Here's a couple of examples where, you know, a question has been posed to me. Someone has mentioned me in the comments area. Now again, I've got this nice reply button, so I can reply immediately to this conversation, or I can select select dismiss. Now it's important to note that dismiss is only dismissing this notification of the card. It does not archive the card. It does not delete the card. It doesn't remove me from the card. I'm just dismissing this notification. But if I do want to go into the card itself, I can do that as well. I can just click on this mini preview here and it's going to take me directly to that board and open that card for me. But if at any time I want to go back to the Trello home screen, I just need to select the logo and that's going to bring me back here. And as you can see by default, the up next section is only going to show me one card at a time unless I select show more below. Now below up next, we have a second section and this is called highlights. Now this is a little bit different than what we saw up above and that highlights is all about conversations. 
And the great thing is that it goes beyond just the conversations that I'm involved with. It goes beyond just the things that I have either commented on or someone has included me in the comment. It's actually going to show me all of the comments of the boards that I'm a member of. So even if I'm not involved in that conversation, I can see that conversation here in the highlights section below. So again, another great way that you can get a bit of a pulse of what's going on within boards in which you are a member of, or maybe you're the manager or the team lead, and there's lots of other conversations going on. This is now your centralized home to see what is happening with those conversations. And if you are involved directly, like you see here, uh, I should maybe clarify the, diff the different uh, the different things you see here from the first card from the second card here I've asked the question right I've asked Jane the question so it's letting me know that that's the last part of this conversation here someone has asked a conversation of me so I can hit reply and do that immediately from this part of the screen now, when it comes to the home screen, there's a few other things you want to keep in mind. Here we have a Teams section, which goes beyond just giving you the ability to edit those boards or edit the members of those teams. It will actually filter what you see here on the home screen. So by default, when you select home or if you select the Trello logo at the top of the screen, you're going to see everything that you are a member of or you're engaged with. But let's say if I just want to see what's going on with the HR department, I can select the HR department and here's the single, in this case, the single team highlight. So I can focus just in with this team. If I only want to see things for the product development team, I can select that here and it's going to filter out just the cards related to boards within the product development team. Now, another thing to keep in mind with this Teams section is that by selecting it, I can now go to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. I know it might be a bit of a stretch, but here I can see all of the boards for that team. I can edit the members of that team or adjust the settings for that team. So I know there, there might be a bit of a distance here. I know when I was first testing out the home screen, I thought I should be able to select this and it would go directly to my settings or my members screen. But no, this actually filters the information. I'm gonna select HR department again. It's gonna filter the information here, uh, which is great, right? If you're working with multiple teams, some of you may have 10 plus teams here on the left-hand side. You can filter your highlights. You can filter the up next section, but it's also a way for you to edit your members and settings for that respective teams. So I hope you get an opportunity to test out the Trello home screen. I think this is going to be a place where you are going to be spending an awful lot of time. It's a great way to make sure that you're not missing out on anything, that you're staying on top of all those notifications and updates that are thrown your way, or if you just want to follow the conversations that are going on here within the other boards that you are a member of. In the comment section below, I would love to hear some of your favorite features of Trello Home and how you may be using Trello Home at the moment. If you're not a subscriber to the Simpletivity YouTube channel, I would encourage you to do so and to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.